Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Now today I am going to be showing you guys how to do a potion with custom effects. So how to use the summon and give commands to give a potion with custom effects. For example, if I hit this button, okay, you see I have been given a potion. So if I have a look at this potion, you'll see that it's got a health boost of 3 and it gives me a slowness of 2. Okay, so it's got two actual potions on it that allows me to do certain things. Now, um, if you've watched my teleportation video, what this allows me to do is if I splash myself with it, you'll see that I actually now get at the bottom here, teleport to villager, mob heads, geared mobs, chest, potions and mob effects and spawn. So these are the tutorials that is on this world. So at this time, and now what we want to do is we want to go to potion, potions. So if I click on potions, you'll see that I have now teleported to potions. So the first thing we're going to do is looking at the command that just gives you a normal potion so if we click on so you'll see give at player 3731 uh, so give that particular potion give them one of them and then this over here is the actual value of the potion so this determines what kind of potion that will be so for example this is a splash potion of regeneration okay so if I hit that you'll see that I now have re regeneration set on on me this is standard this you can do in any kind of in, in minecraft uh, 1.6 upwards i think it is okay right but now let's start playing around with it now you'll see that what we got over here is um we're now actually going to display a name okay so you'll see over here we've got a potion of one six three five uh three eight five and here we've got 373 so what that's going to do is is going to change it into a different um, the potion. So if you have a look over here, 451 is a fire resistant splash potion. Okay, so that's what it should be. Okay, so however, you'll see that I now, oopsie, so you'll see this, I'm actually going to change this to potion of goodness. Okay, so as I see, display name, potion of goodness. Now I'll go through these, t uh, these commands in a moment. Done. Okay, so I'm going to give it to myself. You'll see it says potion of goodness. It's got that color. And if I splash myself, you'll see I have a fire resistance on that. Okay, next, what we can do is we can actually change what it is. So we're now going to use a potion 16397. Okay, 1639, so it looks 16397, which is a, a breathing potion, which is the blue. So it's going to give us a nice blue color. Okay, so you'll see that. Um, 16397 that changes the color and it makes it a breathing potion however we are now going to change it so that it's actually a different effect okay so we're now going to go custom potion effects and i'm going to go through these commands in a moment um id 21 so this is the id of the new effect we want the amplifier in other words how strong it is and then the duration how long this is going to last okay so if i give it to myself you'll see we've now got a potion of goodness when I splash myself, you'll see it is a fire-resistant potion. Okay, so you'll see, and it lasts for however long it lasts. Right, so 54. Okay, right. Now, what you can do is you can actually build this up so that you have this OP potion. This is a uh, overpowered potion. So if I give myself one of those, I'm going to go into here just to show you guys what it is. Look at all of these effects. This potion, with one potion, is going to health boost me level 3, speed level 4, haste level 4, strength 4, instant health 4, jump boost 4, regeneration 4, fire resistance 4, water breathing 4, invisibility 4, night vision 4, and saturation 4. So this is just going to absolutely, the wrong one, absolutely max me out. So as you can see, I'm nice and fast. I've got a nice jump effect there as well. Oh, sorry, I've got a nice jump effect there as well. See? And if you have a look at this, look at all of that. And I'm invisible. <laughs> okay, so what more do you want? Look at me running around. Woo! <laughs> okay, so let us quickly have a look at the uh, commands for this. Right, so uh, once again, as always, I've made them quite big. Okay, so you can actually see them. So this is the first potion, as I said, give at player 373. Uh, so this is the, the kind of potion, uh, or this is this means I'm going to give them a potion. This is um, how, how many of them I'm going to give them, and this is what kind of potion. So you will change this to change the color, to change um, whether it's a splash potion or whether it's a drinking potion. Um, but just remember, whatever potion you, number you change it in, in here to, if you don't add any var variables at the end of it, it will give you that particular potion. Okay, so next then, all we're going to do is we're going to add a name, display. So we're going to add uh, open... open um, round brackets display colon 
open uh, open round brackets. Now, the reason we're doing an open round brackets because the display can have multiple uh, variables in it. But at this and this, we're only going to be using name. Okay. And then we close our brackets again, and this is very very important. Open bracket, close bracket, open bracket, close bracket. Okay. Right. Then we're going to start adding or changing what the effect is. So it's exactly the same. Okay. Same with the name. Same with everything. Now because um, display is one thing you can do to the potion or one attribute that the potion can have and custom potion effects is a second one we're going to put it within that tag so we open that tag so open and close this tag comma custom potion effects colon okay now this is one effect this is one um variable that can have multiple different tags associated with it so we can open up a square bracket uh, round curly brackets ID 21 this is the potion ID so re it, it now will ignore what that is and it'll now give you this now this is actually the effect ID okay so this is the potion effect ID the amplifier is how strong we're gonna make it and the duration is how long it's going to last okay right and then the last one the absolutely OP one is this is the, the one over here which just gives you all of the good stuff so this is all of the good stuff i've actually taken out all of the bad potions so you can make a bad potion that will be well bad <laughs> okay so all you need to do now i'm going to just show you at the top here is where we've got where we've got this comma over here after the display we're just going to copy this whole custom potion effects including the square brackets over here including the round bracket and then we're going to go all the way to the square bracket because this is this square bracket bracket here closes there we're going to copy it we're going to do a comma, we're going to paste it, okay, right, like so, and I'm just going to break it up again. So you'll see now we have the two, and then we can change this. So we can now say, fine, this is a speed potion, and we're going to make this a speed 10, okay. So I'm just going to copy it, and that's it. And then all you need to do is just keep on copying and pasting uh, it if you want more potions. So let me just uh, copy and paste this, plop down a, a command block, give myself a button, and I'm going to paste the code there. Now, I have changed this code to actually be... Um, so I've, I've given myself a amplify my health and I've given myself a duration of a, of a speed of three. Okay, so let's change that back to 10. <clears throat> There's a little bit of problem with the last code. So done and then right. So you'll see I've given myself here. So if I have a look at that, you'll see that there's a health boost three, speed potion 10. Okay, so if I gi give it to myself, you'll see I've got a speed. If I go into game mode uh, zero, you'll see I've no, got, not got extra hearts. There we go. You'll see a very brief extra hearts there. Um, okay, and then you also see I'm quite fast. Okay, that's it. That's as easy as easy as it is. And as I said before, if you, um, you know, you can use all of them at the same time. So there you can see it's quite spectacular. Cool. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My next video will be about um, how to actually summon mobs with some of these effects on them. Okay. Um, also, if you just use my, if you come to this, this map will be up for download. So it's in, in the description, as will all of the commands. The commands are also going to be in the description that I used. If you're on Planet Minecraft, please go check out this video's description on YouTube. I'm allowed to post there. Okay. Um, and then all you need to do is, you, you, when you log in, you will get a potion to teleport. You'll see there's a teleport potion. If you don't, right there where you, tell, where you spawn is a little block where you just splash it on the ground. And then it gives you, you can go to any one of my, uh, my, my tutorials. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check your later.